Usually, yes. Yeah. I mean, you can get some pretty strong, high, straight winds, but the, the tornado usually rips the, the roof off. Unless, you know, it was not a real good roof. Now we're getting into engineering, yes. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's not your area. You can stick to the storm team forecast, I guess. Let's talk today's right. weather. Let's talk today's weather. Boy, things are changing rapidly. Right around 8 o'clock this morning, the sleet started to fall quite rapidly as the temperature got right around that critical mark, that freezing temperature, and all that rain on the road started turning to slush. A little slick out there, and now it has been snowing since about 8, 830 across the region. Just beginning to change the snow, however, uh, down towards Kenosha and Pleasant Prairie, where temperatures are still above freezing. But what you do notice one thing, the tail end of this storm system already making its way through Beloit and down to Janesville, moving very quickly, which is good news because it'll get out of here quicker if you don't want the heavy snow totals. But it looks like between now and about 3 o'clock, we'll see these uh, scattered snow showers or this persistent snow shower activity gradually taper off from south to north. So I'm thinking by 3 o'clock we'll start to see the uh, tail end of this even through Fond du Lac and Sheboygan County. But there is more off to the southwest that will develop uh, throughout the afternoon. But this will be the heaviest of the snow for the remainder of the day. To Viper HD, we'll go and we'll show you that there is a little bit more down to the southwest. But the majority of the snow already making its way out of Illinois and into the extreme southern portion of Wisconsin. We had a lot of rain, as you know. We had about three quarters of an inch of rain yesterday morning, and then we had that little dry period during the morning hours. And then it was last night when more rain fell. This is just the past 24 hours, so the two day total here in Milwaukee is almost two inches. That would have been 20 inches of snow if it wouldn't have been 61 degrees yesterday afternoon. Just incredible. The streams, the rivers, they're filling up. We're getting drought busting rain in the end of January, but now that it has cooled down, it's trained to sleet. It is now changing to snow. And we have a winter weather advisory across all of southeastern Wisconsin until 6 o'clock this evening. Winter storm warning, Fond du Lac, Dodge, and Sheboygan County until 6 o'clock as well. The reason they're under the warning, they're expecting a little bit more snow. How much are we expecting? South side of Milwaukee, Kenosha, Racine, down towards Lake Geneva, about 1 to 2 inches of snow. And then 2 to 4 Milwaukee and Waukesha. Those 3 to 4 inch amounts will be further to the west, say, uh, from Oconomowoc out towards parts of Jefferson County and then where the warning is parts of Sheboygan, Fond du Lac and Dodge County about four to six inches of snow before this is all said and done later this evening. Out in Waukesha we'll go. You can see that sticky snow covering the cars and the roadways in the parking lot. 28 degrees as we continue to cool down. We'll be in the lower 20s by later this afternoon. Right now it's 29 in uh, West Bend. It has cooled to 34 in Kenosha. That's why you're starting to see that sleet, snow and rain mix. 31 Lake Geneva and the 20s to the northwest. But wind chill already down into the teens and lower 20s and this will just keep dropping as well and by the time you get to later this evening maybe after 10 o'clock we're talking below zero wind chills from tonight through saturday morning here comes the arctic air once again in fact 20s in rhinelander 17 and superior and this just keeps making its way toward us as those temperatures will continue to slowly drop overnight tonight everyone's above zero but barely we're in the single digits with just a few lingering flurries northwesterly wind at 15 to 20 will put wind chill around 10 below overnight tonight. Highs tomorrow only in the teens, mostly cloudy, a few flurries, not expecting any accumulating snow. And those winds of 20 to 30 will keep wind chills of 5 to 10 below throughout the entire day. So even in the daytime hours, we're talking below zero readings. So you know tomorrow night's going to be really cold. The coldest since, well, last week when we had those wind chills of 20 to 25 below. Here comes the Arctic area of high pressure. We'll have sunshine on Friday with highs only in the single digits. And as high pressure moves off to the east, we'll get that southwesterly wind back in here and we'll start to warm up. So for today, 35 degrees, that was already our high. And we're continuing to drop through the 20s, 2 to 4 inches of snow, and those wind chills falling into the single digits. And then overnight tonight, single digits above zero, wind chill of 10 below with a few flurries out there. And it just keeps getting colder. Your seven day forecast 13 with flurries on Thursday, seven after a morning low of three below Friday morning. Wind chills Friday morning could be 15 to 25 below. And then for Saturday morning, a low of one, and then getting up to 20 with a few flurries Saturday afternoon. And we warm back up into the 30s by next week. I